States and trying to find out. They never found his body. So to this day, a mom and dad has never had the privilege to take and go to a grave and lay their son to rest. They've never found the dog tags. They have no record of where he died or when he died. And so I promised them over and over, every opportunity I got, I read to them this scripture and the Lord brought it back to my remembrance this morning. And I promised them one day they will meet their son again. Amen. He died a Christian. He was a born again, blood bought child of God. Amen. Amen. But I want to ask you this morning that are here, if you've never served in service, I want you to enlist this morning in the kingdom of God. Yes. In his army. Revelation 20 verse 11. And I saw a great white throne in him that sat on it, whose face and the earth and the heaven fled away. There was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Yeah. Amen. Chapter 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Come on, For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride of going for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. But I love this part. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor cry. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto them, Right, for these words are true and faithful. You will either die in this body, or when the rapture takes place, at that very moment you will give up the breath that is in your body, Death has to come to every individual. Amen. It is appointed unto men once to die, Amen. and after this, the judgment. The only man in Scripture that was given a free pass was Enoch, that he would not see death. And all of a sudden, one day, he was walking with God, and God took him. The only man in Scripture. You're going to die one day. You're going to go to one of two places, heaven or hell. Would you stand today? If you do not know this Jesus Christ, you know when men join the service and women, they join Uncle Sam's army. Amen. But if you don't know Jesus Christ this morning, I want you to join in His kingdom, yes. in yes. His army. Amen. If you're not serving Him and living for Him today, I want you to come to this altar. I'll meet you here. and Say, Pastor, I want to come and meet that man called Jesus Christ. I want to ask forgiveness of my sin. I want Him to write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. And I want my heart to be cleansed. Amen. We bow our heads today. Father, someone today you have spoken to their heart. I felt the touch of the Holy Father and conviction in this house. Someone here today needs not to lean on their own understanding but needs to trust in God. 
And Father, I ask of you this morning that they will come and give their heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. That you will take that pen whose ink is the blood of the Lamb and write their name in the Lamb's book of life that no man can blot it out. You will cast their sins as far as the east is from the west, never to be remembered against them anymore. Father, we do want to make it heaven our home. We desire to go to that place where so many of our American family and friends have sacrificed that we might have this freedom. Freedom is not free. It costs. Salvation is not free. It costs. Dear Son of God, Jesus Christ, His life. Now may we give our life unto Thee. May we live for You and die in You. In Jesus' name. Amen. As your heads are bowed a moment, is there anyone to say, Pastor, I do not know Jesus in the free part of sin. I want to walk to the altar. I want to come. You don't have to confess to a priest or to me or anyone else. All you have to do is ask the Lord into your heart and into your life. Before we change the order of service, is there anyone here today? The choice is yours. It'll be between you and God today. Father, I gave them the opportunity. My hands will be clean in the judgment. But I don't ever want to have a service that I don't give an opportunity for prayer time. But somebody under the sound of my voice is not ready to meet you, God should breath leave their body today and they die in a car accident, a widow make her heart attack. Sometimes people leave this earth instantly and the doctors, even with autopsy, cannot determine the cause. If someone dies today without you, Lord, under the sound of my voice, and they stand before you in judgment that day, you will remind them of the opportunity that you gave unto them. So, Lord, we leave this house this morning in just a few moments, and we say thank you for our military men and women who have yes. sacrificed yes. and who have given of themselves. And may we do not go about this day forgetting them, but may we be reminded of them, I ask in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Amen.